What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have behind me the Audi. As you guys know that the Audi is my daily right now. And uh, I brought it to the shop because I have a problem with the thermostat. It's leaking, probably it's, it, it's, it failed. Because when I did the timing belt and everything, I put thermostat new, so I brought it to the shop. <clears throat> the car is still a little warm, so I'm gonna let it cool down. But I'm gonna try to take you guys uh, along with me to change the thermostat it's not uh, that hard but it takes a little time so uh, it's still warm up i'm gonna let it cool down probably i'm gonna have to remove this hose probably this i'm gonna remove the uh, alternator so i can get access right there and then once the thermostat is out i'm gonna show you the uh, what, what failed on it because i can see that it's leaking so uh yeah i already added coolant one time so now it's not that low, but still is not on the maximum level. So as the car cools down, let me, I'm gonna um, try to put it in the lift. And then uh, I got my tools right here. And uh, this is what I bought. And also I'm gonna do oil change because I already hit 3000 miles on it. So I went ahead and I bought a new, brand new uh, thermostat, original. So it comes in this box, uh, definitely from Audi. I got the filter. Is the one that I use all the time and uh, some uh, washers for the drain plug. I always change it. I recommend it too because, you know, so it doesn't leak. And while I'm there, I got the, I got the J plug. So uh, when I'm gonna take the thermostat out, just easy to place this. I don't remember if I changed it when I um, did the timing belt, but once I said, let me buy it and just change it. And I got the oil. So, yeah, I always use this oil, you guys know already. This is the oil that I use. So it's a 5W40. So that's pretty much it. That's what I have I'm gonna do today. So um, take you guys along with me. Uh, I still have to wait to cool down a little bit, but I gotta uh, start working. Definitely got coolant too. I'm not gonna use the same coolant. So I have the car up on the lift, I open the the door from the shop so it can get a little bit cooler here so <clears throat> i'm gonna try to film with one hand and then work because i don't have where to put the phone right now so obviously i try to show you guys what i'm doing uh just gonna take some covers of the engine from from this side and then i'm gonna have to drain the coolant i already took this off so i'm gonna have to drain the coolant from the bottom at least from the radiator and then we'll see what I can drain from the engine. If not, then probably I'm gonna just pass everything. So, yeah, this one just goes on the side. Probably I'm gonna have to remove all of this stuff so I can get access right there. Uh, maybe the travel body too, so I can have more access and then all this, gotta drain the coolant, so. Uh, let's see what we have here. It's kind of hard to just hold the phone and then work, but I'll, I'll try probably to do something. Yeah, so this is how it looks. The engine, coil box here. But I'm gonna just uh, set the phone down and uh, probably gonna have to drain the coolant, then come back right here. Also, I'm gonna remove this belt and I need both hands so I can, uh, the tensioner I can I'll put the tensioner and take this one off. This is basically what I'm doing, guys. Draining the coolant. <clears throat> I don't wanna just throw it on the floor. So this is, I think, what's on the radiator. And then uh, everything else probably I'm gonna dispose. But this I'm gonna just save it just, just in case. So I drained almost uh, one gallon. That was from the expansion tank and the radiator. I think in the engine block there is still coolant. So I removed the expansion tank, this hose. Now I'm gonna remove this so I can have more access that I needed a, a screwdriver. Probably it'll be easier to remove these headlights, but I'm gonna try to remove this uh, hose like that. If not, then I will have to remove the uh, headlights. So let me see if I have access to this uh, clamp. Looks like I do. Uh, yeah. And now this clamp. <clears throat> I 
this is gonna be really hard because it's uh it's pretty tight right here so i need both hands let me try to set up the phone here So there is the thermostat all the way there so that is the leak there is a coolant because one time i left the car parked outside for like, i don't know probably more than two or three days and then when i when i checked it was a lot of coolant so i want to check it out right when i say that's the coolant leaking because from here is not leaking here is the new that's just uh, dr uh wet right now because i took it off but i know that's the thermostat so and i know what is leaking from i'm gonna show it to you guys when uh, once i remove it out. Now, this is what we're looking for, the thermostat. So pretty much the thermostat is leaking from, I don't know if you guys can see, but you see what is the, so I think it comes in two pieces. You see the bottom part, and then there is the, there is like a bolt. Let me try to show you. So this one here, that's the bottom part and then the top. So basically from here, from the middle, uh, it leaks but from the other side once I'm gonna take it out I'll show it to you guys so this is what I'm looking for for the thermostat now I have access gotta remove all the pipings so the hose from the top this pipe the hose goes to the heater core I think and uh, the hose from the bottom which one goes to the radiator and the sensors so there is two bolts 10 millimeters remove those and the thermostat should come right out and the J plug I think it's behind it which gonna have access to change that one too so uh, yeah let me try to set up the phone here and uh, i'll show you guys how to remove those two so i tried to set the lights as best as i could and uh the phone now let me get into it so this pipe should have a bolt which is on top of the oil cooler right here. So if I'm taking this bolt out, I wouldn't be able to move this because there is a bolt holding it in place. And I remember I, I put down because in my silver Audi, I tried to leave it like that. So it was easier to remove. But now I have to remove that bolt. So I'm pretty sure if you guys are gonna do this for the first time, you're gonna have to remove that as well. And while I'm here, I'm gonna remove this one out. So these clumps right here, this one here, this one in on the bottom, and then those two bolts in the thermostat should come out. But now if I'm removing this, there is a lot of cool which is gonna drain. I put a bucket underneath, so uh, I don't have a lot of coolant in the shop. Yeah.
So I took the J plug out. Uh, it took some time because it's kind of hard to push it out from here. Just be careful, don't mess up anything. And uh, now just the installation is the reverse of the removing. And I'm gonna install everything. My phone is dying, so I'm gonna put it to charge when I'm gonna have almost everything ready. I'll uh, continue filming. But for now, I'm just gonna install everything real quick and uh, see how this goes. So the thermostat is pretty much installed. As you guys see, everything is there, connected. And now I just gotta put the alternator back together, uh, put the belt, drive belt, connect all the plugs, uh, expansion tank fill up with the coolant and uh, pretty much the thermostat is go, ready to go and uh, I'll do oil change and go home. All right, so everything gets installed almost. I clean the expansion tank, I'm just gonna install it. The oil is drained, I change the filter. I change everything from the bottom, uh, was okay. Now I'm just gonna fill up with coolant and uh, oil. So this, uh, this car should be ready to start. Now, let me see if I can set up it. Coolant all, drive belt on, started, everything should be fine. Yep, I'm gonna let it warm up, I'm gonna lift it up, see if there is any leaks, and then should be good to go home. All right, guys, this was all. Uh, car is up and running. Temperature, it's probably almost okay. Yeah, temperature okay. So, just gonna put the covers on and uh, ready to go home because it's late. Uh, please leave it a thumbs up uh, on this video. Comment if you want, ask me anything you want. And um, I'll try to do more videos from this car. And also the evil is coming up on the channel. I have an update on that and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. So uh, see you in the next video.